I'm looking forward to it, man. I really am, eh? So it's it's going to be good. It's going to be one of those trips where we've been talking about it for many, many years, but everyone sort of coincided and we're all able to go, man. Yeah, it's going to be brilliant. Yeah, it's going to be good. Might have a chat about that, eh? Yeah, man. G'day guys, out here at uh, hanging out in Tony's shed today. It's bloody hot, and um, this is our first attempt at Cape Dories. So, uh, so yeah, we're just going to have a chat about um, our upcoming trip. Uh, again, do the same thing with uh, the others who are coming along too. Um, but anyway, first cab off the ranks, Tone. And um, yeah, we've been uh, checking out his car, going over it a bit. But um, thought I'd get a few questions across. And um, yeah, first one, Tones. What are you mostly looking forward to about Cape? Just the entire adventure. It's going to be one epic trip. So what are some must-see places of interest that you've got on your uh, list, I guess you call it, if you have a list of uh, what you definitely want to see, like, without that? And some trip requirements, I guess. <laughs> obviously, I want to see the crep. Yeah. Um, well, that's going to be that's going to be one of those ones. Like, obviously, we don't know we haven't been there before, but we obviously research it, and if it's going to be it's gonna have rain. They reckon you don't do it. Yeah, yeah. So, but um, it'll be something that will probably be decided the day we leave Port Douglas. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. That'd be Obviously, we're taking a lot of notes in terms of what tracks we want to do. The Creb will be the first one, as we just yeah. mentioned. Um, there's gonna be a lot of research. In Shit the, ton in, of research. In the time, you know, prior to prior to we go, we got. What, five or six months, I think, before yeah. we leave. Yeah. Um, yeah. The crib track. It's going to be a. It's going to be a hard drive. Um, as you said, Tim, you know, if if it has rain prior, it's something that we're going to have to think about whether we do venture down the track or whether we take a little sneaky detour. But um, man, there's there, there's a lot of things to see all the way up from from Cooktown. So, Allen Beach. The old yeah. tally track, um, the south part, and then the north part as well. So, yeah. well, the telegraph track's pretty iconic. So you, you can't go up Cape York and not do it. As far as I'm concerned, if you're going to go up there and not do it, you're wasting your time. Mm. So, um, so yeah, we're going to give it a good red hot crack. Don't know if we'll do it both ways. Might might do it one way up, and then um, might not do it on the way back down. But then, depending on how much time we got, we've got a month off to do it. So. Um, yeah, obviously no time, no amount of time is enough time, but um, one month we just have to like, yeah, decide whether we do it again on the way back or whether we fly past it and do something else, but anyway, plenty to see, won't see it all, but, um, but yeah, and what about, um, I guess the hardest thing is probably deciding how long we stay at different places, you know, like, Yeah, you see, because we're going as part of a group, um, there's a third person missing, so we need to get all sort of sit down and have a chat. But um, as as you said, Tim, you know we've only got four weeks, so we've got to get from Brisbane all the way up and then all the way back. So you know we it's four days down of your month just yeah, getting there, yeah, and back, yeah. So um, but, uh, but also your camping, you got to book your camping prior um, on most of it. They reckon that once you're north of Jardine River after the Telegraph track and your Jardine River crossing um, fee covers your camping north of that, um, you still probably have to book, but a lot of places say you can just rock up and get a spot. But um, anywhere sort of on the way up, especially our first week, I'm sort of thinking like we haven't decided yet, but our first week would be around Cape Melville and um, north of Cooktown and that. Um, once we start off on the crab track, hopefully, and then um, yeah, all those places are pre-booked, so you're going to have to have those places pre-booked, um, and um, so that's when deciding how much time you're going to spend at different places is going to be going to be kind of probably what we need to talk about the most. Yeah. I guess there's all the, the the iconic destinations. Yeah, that's right. That people want to see when they go up there: Fruit Bat Falls, you know, Daintree National Park, yep. Cape Melville, Chili Beach. Frenchman's track. Yep. 
um, seisha. Yeah. I want to fish yeah. all Tons the way up fish. as well. So I'm, I'm a mad fisherman. <laughs> yeah. um, so every every campsite we, we pull into, yeah. there'll be a lure in the water before the tent's up, I think. Really, it's a romantic idea that Tane's just going to come up to us one day after catching a mad feed and um, just throw the fish straight on the... Uh, straight on the um, poles and um, we're always going to eat fish straight out of the campfire and we'll see, we'll see, see if that comes to fruition but uh, yeah. anyway, no pressure Tony. Yeah, uh, thanks man. I'm expecting that a few times actually. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon when we go to um, Chili Beach, which is the links around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah around, around here somewhere. <laughs> Probably can't see it anyway, a bit too far away. Uh, just there. But anyway, there's this little road off the side here, Portland Road. So we'll head up, I reckon we'll head up there, go to Chili Beach, spend a couple of days there, and then do the Frenchman's track on the way back across, just so we're not double double backing on ourselves, wasting time. So, uh, so yeah, Frenchman's track will be interesting. I reckon it's got a, uh, one, one gnarly creek crossing, I forget what it's called. It's, uh, yeah. Pasco River. Uh, <laughs> yeah, apparently that's a bit how you're going, but um, we'll see how we go. And obviously we're going to go to the uh, go and do the telegraph track um, after we come back from um, Chili Beach and that across the Frenchman's track and Pasco River and that. So um, I don't know. Go to Bramwell. <laughs> obviously that's the start of the track. And um, yeah, plenty of water crossings in that one time. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think um, I think we should break the the tele track down uh, to, to two halves, like the you know the southern section yeah. and then the north. Um, obviously we'll be able to camp. Had a few spots do uh, fruit bat balls, yeah, fruit all the balls, iconic must see. Um, sections as well. Um, I wouldn't mind going all the way up to the top, up to the river. Yep. Um, yeah, I just reckon. Just have a nosy around there. Obviously, you have to come back down and then take a, a turn off off to the left and then head up yeah. to the ferry. Unless you want to have a crack crossing it, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I'll be right. Yeah. Bre Brendo might be keen after a few beers. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Kazza will be that. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think I think the tally track's going to be um, one of the most memorable parts of the trip, man. Oh, I reckon. It's just so iconic. And yeah. then I think um, we'll head up, um, you know, once we get across the ferry and get onto the northern side, um, I, don't, I don't know if we'll just take um, the journey straight up to the top, and then when we come back down, we'll go to Seisha. Yeah. Spend some time there, um, have a bit of a nosy round, do some fishing. Yeah. Um, and I think you were mentioning about going over to Thursday Island. Yeah, I might do a tour. Tours go off from Seisha or Seisha. Um, I don't know how to say it, but um, yeah, something we'll be thinking about. My brother went there a few years ago, and um, yeah, he recommended going over the island. So. Um, we might take his advice and do it. So. Also, um, around Seisha, if you go down to Bamaga, um, from what I've read, about eight k's or so southeast of Bamaga, there's a World War Two um, oh, plane yeah. wreckage. Yep. So I think you know it'd be good to spend a day around yeah. there. No, it was that was, def that was on my to do list as well. Just yeah. the um, all the ruins there from crashed uh, World War Two, uh, World War Two, World War Two planes and whatnot. Um, so yeah, no, definitely, just, yeah. Yeah, definitely do that. Yeah. A lot of history out there, man. Yeah, and also um, uh, while we're up there, the the the, um, the Five Beach crossing track or whatever it is, the yeah. what's that called again? Um, Somerset and those beaches around there. Gonna have to go there, I reckon. Um, yeah, then coming home, I guess. Um, we haven't really worked out which way we we, we want to come home. We don't no. want to obviously double up and backtrack on the tracks that we took going no, north. That's right. So obviously, you know, we want to see as much as what we can well, going one, both ways. One of my requirements, one, one of my trip requirements is um, on the way back down, we um, probably get, go to Laura, back to Laura, and then just do a restock if we need to, and then do Old Coach Road, and then go South Old Coach Road on the way home. And then when that spits you back out onto the main road, it's only a short drive to a place um, I got told about, Mount Mulligan, got told to definitely go there and have a look. It's an abandoned um, gold mining town from 1956. Yeah, nice. And everything's still there. Um, in ruins, obviously, but a spectacular place to go. So um, I'm going to put that forward as our last uh, point of call or last uh, point of interest. And um, and then from there south, it's all home time. So um, we'll, again, we'll just have to find somewhere halfway, I guess. But um, but that's that's my only requirement on the way back. So. Mm. So yeah, but um, I think I think ultimately we're all on the same page, eh? About 
where we want to go and what what yeah. we want to see. Um, but yeah, it would be nice not to have the pattern back on the same. Not to double up, yeah. But you know, we're obviously going to have to on some parts of it, especially that PDR track but, yeah. um, or road. It's I'm just looking forward to, I guess, seeing all the iconic spots like the Lions Den Hotel, yeah. Nolan's Crossing, Gunshot, Crop Tent. You know, yeah, <laughs> Crop Tent. You know, you're having a photo taken at the, you know, the the turn off of the tally track. Yeah. Um, you know, doing a bit of bit of um, emu diving at uh, Chili Beach. You yeah. know, trying to find some some good things that have washed up on the on the beach there. Yeah, and yeah, a lot of rubbish gets washed up on those beaches. Eh? Yeah, yeah. All from Indonesia and whatnot, apparently. Yeah, having the photo taken to the tip. Yeah, yeah. The tip would be interesting because you probably get a bit of a sense of you've done it, but. Uh, yeah. Ultimately, you're you're only halfway there. Yeah, well, you have to make it back, eh? So that's it. Um, hopefully, with the with the vehicle preps, um, we won't have any dramas with um, breakages or breakdowns. Yeah. So we're, we're all going fully stocked. What's new tires, new suspension, winches. What, what are you taking, like spares wise? Um, I was going to take uh, uh, radiator hoses, uh, fan belt. Um, uh, filters, of course, so probably take two spare air filters, yeah. uh, one uh, oil filter. Um, a lot of people talk about taking spare oil as well, so plenty of tire plugs, you know, for punctures. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got a kit, you've got a kit. Yeah. Pretty sure granddad has got a kit. Yeah. And tools, you know, we'll have to, I think we spoke about spreading yeah. the, the load of tools, so yeah, we'll have to double to up. We'll have to spread the load between three cars, so. Yeah. Everything really, like so. When you know, if um, someone's got a barbecue, we're not all going to take a barbecue. You know, if someone's going to bring a gazebo, we're not all going to bring a gazebo. Uh, we're just going to spread it out, and yeah. Um, yeah so, so we're not um, so we're not doubling up on anything and wasting weight, wasting space. So um, no, we should be able to collectively live out of everything we take and yeah. live quite comfortably, really. Uh, and what I mean, are you not most looking forward to about the trip time? <clears throat> um, getting stuck in one of the crossings, man. Yeah, right. Um, Taking water on. Yeah, I, I, I don't want water inside, eh? <laughs> so, but Ch- we'll, we'll, chance that's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll see how, see how it goes, but yeah. Um, water ingress, um, dust, yeah. and Breaking something. Dust, I'm gonna have dust everywhere. It's gonna be like all the boys though. Well, Brendo's got a uh, patrol, so he's got the wagon, so he, he'll have dust still, but Tony's got the canopy on the back, but uh, I'm just got the Lux in, she's just running uh, running roof rack and that's it. So um, there will be plenty of dust in the back of the Luxy, so I'll have to make some extra um, provisions, I guess, to um, try to minimise it, especially the fridge. But um, anyway, should be right. Breakages, man. I'd, yeah, you know, breaking I'd, something is a real possibility of happening, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And tyres. Yeah. I've spoken to a lot of people that have, that, that have done the Cape that have, you know, gone through a couple of tyres. Yeah. So. My, my brother blew his gearbox and um, he was stuck on a beach for a week while the local mechanic uh, rebuilt it. Obviously, if someone gets sick or injured as well. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, but, you know, we're not, you're only going to get injured if you do something stupid. And, yeah, you know, common sense prevails. Mm. But um, common sense isn't that common, actually. But um, amongst us, it is. So, um, so we shouldn't get injured. But um, yeah, sickness you won't be able to help. No, man. So I guess the other thing for me is um, losing my lures. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> um, that'd be a sad moment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not- It's a good neighbourhood, eh? It's <laughs> like a recent one, that. Uh, yeah, I think it's a D22. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we might leave it there, eh? And um, next up, uh, in the next coming oh, few weeks, I guess, we'll get, um, we'll get Brendo on here and, um, yeah, have a chat to him about um, similar topics to what um, me and Tony have just spoken about. But, uh, but yeah, I guess you get his point of view or perspective on it. And, um, and yeah, but uh, anyway, cheers, Tom. Thanks yeah, for cheers, the time, mate. mate. And yep. um, 
yeah, coming up in August, our big trip. So um, this is episode one of Cape Diaries, where we just have a little bit of a chat about it and um, what to expect, what not to expect, and um, yeah. And uh, we're just gonna get tucked into fitting some um, shocks to Tony's car now. So uh, have a good one, and see you in the next video. Like and subscribe, and comment, whatever below, and um, we'll see ya. <laughs>